Hey everybody, it's Ken Tripp with EXP, part of the Evolution Group with Ricky Carruth, and I'm back again to talk to you about five things you need to think about when you're choosing your brokerage. We're going to dive right into these, let's get started. Number one, the first thing you want to think about when you're choosing your brokerage is your mentorship and your coaching. What kind of support are you going to have? What kind of mentorship are you going to have? What kind of coaching are you going to have? Especially at the very beginning, if you're a newer agent, you need all the help and all the support you can get. And that's going to come not from one manager looking after 60 or 70 or 80 agents. It's going to come from a lot of hands-on mentorship and a lot of hands-on coaching. So the first thing you want to ask is, how much per week am I going to be able to connect with a mentor or someone there who's going to be able to look after me, a coach, how whatever have you, where they're going to be able to guide you day by day, make sure you're making the small steps happen each day so that the weekly steps happen, the monthly steps happen, and then you get off to a good start with your career. And even if you're not a new agent, you might need a little bit less coaching, a little bit less mentorship than a brand new agent. But even if you're a seasoned veteran, you're still gonna wanna have some direction, some mentorship, some help each week, couple times a week, whatever have you, a couple times a month, you know, if you really know what you're doing, but you're still gonna need someone who's gonna be able to help you when you get stuck on something or when you have guidance or when you wanna scale and you wanna grow, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got somebody in your corner. So number one, mentorship and coaching, when you're choosing a brokerage, make sure that you've got someone there who's going to be able to not just look after you when you first come in and you first sign up with the brokerage, but for the long haul. And are they gonna be invested in what you do? If you succeed, do they succeed? That's very important. If you're not tied in with someone who's got a vested interest in you succeeding, they're not going to be able to help you as much. They're not going to have the incentive to help you as much. You want someone who's gonna be in your corner the whole time, and you want someone who's going to be uh, there for you, pushing you to succeed, because it's not only gonna help you, but it's gonna help them as well. The number two thing you wanna look at when you're choosing a brokerage, or you're thinking about making a switch, is what's the split, what's the fees, uh, what's the cap? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that A, you can keep a lot of your money, and B, that you can actually kinda of grow that money. Now, not a lot of brokerages will offer that, but for example, at eXp, it's an 80-20 split, $16,000 cap. Once you're done paying your cap, you do 20 more transactions, you're actually what we call icon status, you get a chance to get your, uh, your cap back in company stock. Now, once you've paid the cap, you're 100% commission. That's a great thing. The bonus is you actually get a chance to get that cap back, when you do those extra 20 trans transactions. So if you're the kind of agent that's looking to do 25, 30, 40, 50 deals a year, you definitely want to consider uh, EXP as your brokerage because you want to make sure that you have a chance to get that stock back that can grow to a, to a huge number over time, especially when you're doing it every single year. But even if you're maybe not going to do that or you're just starting as a new agent, you still want to be in a position where you're only going to pay $16,000 in cap and then you're going to be 100%. You're going to keep a lot more money. If you're new or if you're starting to produce and you're just getting going, that's something you want to make sure you take into very good consideration because you're going to want to make sure to keep more of your money. At the very beginning, even if you're not doing a lot of deals, more money in your pocket means more money for marketing, more money to put yourself out there, more money to get the snowball rolling to keep producing. And then obviously, once you produce, you want to keep even more of it. But you know, at the very beginning, the more you can hang on to, the more you can reinvest back into yourself, the more you're going to be able to grow. So very important to find a brokerage you align with, with the fees and with the splits and with the caps so that it all makes sense for you so you can build your business the way you want. Number three, what's the culture and what's the community? You want to be surrounded by a community of people, a like-minded uh, community, a like-minded culture that's going to embolden you to grow. It's going to help you get where you want to get. You're going to be able to lean on uh, a variety of different agents from a variety of different backgrounds that are in different places than you're at right now. Learn from a lot of different people and have a community that's going to, you know, uh, rally around you when you're down and and help you go when you're when you're you know you've got momentum and you're rocketing forward you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're surrounded by people who are going to help you get where you wanna be. So a strong community is essential. Having agents, uh, coaches, mentors, managers, everybody around you who will help you and support you in every facet as you're growing your business, whether you're a new agent or a seasoned agent, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the uh, people around you are aligned with your vision and aligned with your values and they can help you get there. And that you've got a diverse enough community that you're not going to know all the answers to everything, uh, whether you're new or a seasoned agent. If you want to build a team and you've never done that, for example, you're going to want to make sure you're surrounded by a culture and a community of maybe teams that have grown. You're going to want to be surrounded by successful agents who can help you uh, give back. A lot of brokerages, the agents are very busy doing their own thing. They're not looking to give back. They're not looking to help. They're not looking to help you grow. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you surround yourself with a group and with a community that's going to give you uh, what you need to get where you wanna go and that you can give back to as well and help others grow along the way. Number four thing to look for in a brokerage is an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to scale. For most brokerages, it's very simple. You make your commission, they take their fee, they give you a little bit of support, off you go, never stops. You're gonna keep paying into that, they're gonna keep using that money to grow their business while you just grow your real estate business and that's it. 
EXP is a little bit different. You get ownership in the company, you get a chance to scale. The more you scale, the more you help the company grow, the more you grow. So maybe EXP isn't what you're looking at right now. Maybe you're looking at a different brokerage. I've been to several myself. Now I'm finally with EXP and I wish I had done it sooner, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've got an opportunity. If you're planning on growing a team, if you're planning on scaling up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're part of a brokerage that's going to allow you to do that and help you uh, get as big as you wanna get, but also is going to allow you to maybe retire at some point, which most agents never get to do. You're gonna to wanna to be with a brokerage that's gonna allow you to do that. Uh, and not a lot of them will do it. You've gotta make sure you're aligned with the right brokerage. Now, obviously I'm a little bit biased. I'm with EXP right now and I'm gonna stay that way. And the road to retirement got a lot clearer once I joined and once I jumped over here because of the way the company is structured and the opportunities that eXp allows agents uh, to buy in with. So you're gonna wanna make sure when you're looking at brokerage switching or you're looking at jumping in as a new agent, what's the long term, what's the scale opportunity, is there ownership opportunity, just plain opportunity. Is it there for me beyond being just an agent? And finally, the fifth thing to look for in a brokerage when you're looking to switch or just join as a new agent, what are their systems and what are their platforms? Do they have systems in place that can help you make your business easier? Do they have platforms for you to lean on? Do they have a uh, backend system that's going to support your agents or the, as you're on your team as you're growing or just support you? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's a system in place that's gonna allow you to make your business easier. Get rid of a lot of the uh, time consuming backend paperwork. You're gonna to wanna to make sure there's training. You're gonna to wanna to make sure there's mentorship. You're gonna to wanna to make sure there's an opportunity to learn. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of this stuff is easily accessible and the systems are there so as you scale, it can hold up for you as you go. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's it's a 2022 company. It's a company that's built for the future and it's not built for the past like a lot of the brick and mortar brokerages are. You're gonna want a company that's looking forward, that is embracing new technology, that is embracing uh, you know what we're doing now in this era and not so much what used to happen back in the day. So make sure you have a good look at what systems they can provide to help you grow, help you train, help you learn, help your people under you grow as you grow. Make sure that the systems are there for you so that you've got the technology in place to help yourself get to where you wanna be. Now obviously there's more than five things to consider when you're choosing a brokerage. I just thought these were five very important ones. If you haven't considered these before, maybe dive into these a little bit deeper than you might have. If you're thinking of making a switch and you wanna talk more about why eXp might be right for you, comment below with your email address, I'm happy to reach out, or you can DM me on Instagram, at the Ken Trip anytime. I'd be happy to chat with you. I do believe that there's a massive opportunity right now with eXp for agents across the globe, and that's why it's growing so much. But it may be the right brokerage for you, it might not be. You wanna make sure you're aligned with the right place. So ask yourself if those five things, if you've considered them when you're switching, if you haven't considered them, take a little bit of a look. And let me know what I missed. I'm sure there's more than five uh, that you're gonna consider, probably up to 10 or 20 different things that you wanna you know, look at when you're switching brokerages. Comment below with maybe what I missed. We'll have a discussion, maybe I'll put up another video in the future. Uh, hope to see you soon, bye for now.